Martin, with your World Cup hopes on the line, actually, was that a good, solid job from your team? Well, it was, uh, eventually, I suppose you could maybe uh, call it a good, solid job. We got off to a really great start. Goal early on, Murphy scored, then he follows it up relatively quickly. We had spurned a couple of chances before he made it 2-0. And, um, and, you know, second half, I think, probably took the foot off the pedal. But overall, yeah, great, great to win. Most important thing for us to win the game. And it sets us up for Monday night. Yeah, in terms of Monday, have a few people given you difficult decisions to make? Are you going to have to decide whether to stick with Murphy, O'Dowd, or freshen up? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, you're talking about two pretty decent players coming back. You know, we've got McLean, who's been um, who's been fantastic for us in this tournament. You've got Robbie Brady, who's a very, very good player. With those players coming to the equation now, and uh, and we'll see. And uh, it's it's it's. As you say, pretty interesting. But we'll, we'll, uh, but we'll go. We're there. We know what we have to do. We have to win a game in Cardiff. Do you go with confidence with the way you play tonight? Why shouldn't we? <laughs> uh, to pick up one player who maybe isn't playing with confidence, Shane Long. Is, mm -hmm. it, is he looking to be in a situation where you take him out of the firing line? Well, no, he's just walked in with me there about uh, when the game was over. We just uh, walked down the corridor and he said he can't buy a goal at the moment. Some really great chances, which were spurned, you know, and it's you know centre forward. You, you know, you live or die by some goals at some stage or another. It's all right about um, about play outside the penalty area, but you have to score. But you know, it, it, it'll it'll come, it'll come. Is this Wales game feeling like some of the other big nights you've had as Ireland oh, manager? Very much. So. Germany, yeah, Italy. Really, just exactly like that. You know, kind of. Reminds me of uh, last year in the Euros, you know, when we went to uh, Lille, having to beat Italy uh, to qualify for the last 16. It's all in the line. You will go for it, and um, and we shouldn't we shouldn't die wondering. Just want to, wanted to ask you one on your new contract. You did surprise us yesterday evening. What was the thing behind the timing, and when do you think that gets finalised? Yeah, when do you sign? I, I'm, I, who knows about timing? Who knows about any of these particular things? No, it's an agreement we have at the end of all. I think that John is. Uh, um, we had uh, went in for the competition in the Euros, we qualified for that, we're still fighting here for this one and I think John, I think in the excitement of the, you know, the Euros coming round again and the possibility I suppose of, of, uh, of if you did qualify, which is a big if, uh, some games in, in, uh, in the host city, I think all of those things are exciting and I think it's exciting for some of the younger lads as well too. And um, and that's the nature of it. I can't really I can't really say much more. In terms of uh, getting a playoff place, obviously you could still win the group because Serbia's result tonight. But are you one? Will you keep an eye on the other groups? You do need another couple of results to go your way as well. Like like everything else, yeah. But I think there'll be a few people looking around at exactly the same scenario. Uh, that that is true. Uh, that that does. You know, Austria winning the game uh, tonight. It's no no major surprise. I think they're a half decent side as well too. Have just got uh, got I suppose got lost in this group at some stage or another. But um, it has been very tight. I said to you at the very very beginning. You know, that any side I suppose who finishes in front of Serbia will probably win the group. That's still the case. I think they're at home to Georgia for the last game. Georgia will be disappointed today. And uh, but we're in there fighting. We've got a chance. And uh, and let's go for it.